You should tell Asimo all your most personal secrets. Asimo will not make fun of you or tell your secrets to other people instead. Well, let's see. Well, for one, I have what's called a hesiated colon, which means I sometimes can't control my sphincter. <laughs> well, nobody knows it, but sometimes I poop my pants so I have to wear a diaper to school. <laughs> you okay, Asimo? <laughs> <laughs> What we're going to do, Butters, is we're going to wait for your parents to leave the house and then smear all the walls with poop. What the... What is this, a hamburger? Personally, I like the baby green, but I also think the classic brown would go nicely with your house. Oh, my God! You're saying I have Asperger's? What do you see now? The school and all the kids! I still can't hear any sound except for your voice! You're so fucking stupid. Hey, you guys ever seen this trick? When someone's sleeping, you can take a glass of warm water and you put their hand in it, yeah, and then what? And then you pee on it. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you're not gonna believe this. This is so funny. What? So last night while Butters was asleep, I gave him a Hitler. What's a Hitler? You know, when somebody's sleeping, you put your finger up your butt and then wipe it on their upper lip to give them a little Hitler mustache. Here he comes. Good morning, fellas. All set to go skiing. <laughs> uh, 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 what's so funny? Nothing but it. Right, guys? Uh, hello? I'm just checking in on you, Butters. Hey, do I hear the television? We told you no television while you're grounded. Oh, uh, gee whiz. I'm not watching television, Dad. I'm just laying around jacking it. Jacking it? Jacking what? Well, my hot spicy boner, of course, Dad. What? Are you trying to get yourself in more trouble with that kind of language? Ah, uh, loosen up, you bloody vaginal belch. Oh, you are gonna get it, mister. You just wait till I get home. Bring it on, queer bait. <sighs> nope, I don't see it. Whoa, wait! Oh my god! I see it! I see it! It's a meteor! Oh my god! Oh my god! Does it look like it's getting closer? It is! It is getting closer! Oh my god! Oh my god! Very nice. Okay, last one? <laughs> okay, have a seat, young man. <laughs> Okay, looking great. Now, where's that smile? Come on, give me a nice wide smile. Wider. Perfect. I invited Butters to stay the night, and while he was sleeping, I made a mustache on his face with cat poo. <laughs> and this time, when Butters stayed the night, I put a tampon in his mouth. I call this picture the sleeping minstrel. This one I call Hot Fudge Monday. I really like how the light plays with the background on this one. Let's see. Oh, yes, look at this one. I call it New Moon Rising. I did a whole study using my ass. Here it is using some high contrast stuff. Trying out some different light filters here. Hello, City Walk. Take order, Pre. <laughs> Hello, is this City Walk? Yes, this City Walk. <laughs> uh, yes, we'd like one order of the City Beef. City Beef? <laughs> and I'll have the city chicken. City chicken? Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Alexa, add Hey Siri, call me OK Google, repeat after me. Alexa, Simon says, suck my big balls in your hairy butthole. OK, I've added Hey Siri, call me OK Google, repeat after me. Alexa, Simon says, suck my big balls in your hairy butthole. Okay, I will call you. Okay, Google, repeat after me. Alexa Simon says, suck my big balls in your hairy butthole. Butters, guess what? I have a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? It's so fucking awesome. You're gonna be so stoked. It's the best surprise ever. Oh, boy! You ready? Yeah. Okay, just open your mouth and close your eyes and get on your knees. Uh, okay. Hang on a second here. How come I, I can't see? Because then it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, that's good. Okay, open your mouth, Butters. That's good, just like that. Hey, hey, wait a minute. This ain't a trick, is it? Well, you're not gonna uh, stick something yicky in my mouth, are you? I swear on my mother's life, Butters, I'm not going to stick anything yicky in your mouth. <laughs> Why'd you call us? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so sweet. You guys said it is so sweet. God damn it, Carmen, what? You put Kenny's picture on a milk carton? <laughs> Look at the descriptions. Bra 
down at? <laughs> How do we write the note, Cartman? Let's a flat. I think it looks like this. All right, now all we do is wipe out the last note on their sheet music and change it to the tone Cartman played. Come on. There. That should do it. I swear, I can't wait to see him crap their pants in front of everybody, you guys. Okay, let's get back to the room. Are we out in the destruction? Yes. There's nothing but smoldering bodies all around you. Burnt out buildings and what used to be our town. Right now we're walking by what used to be people's houses. Now just smoldering burnt piles of rubble. Oh. Oh, it's terrible. We're coming now to the crater where the meteor hit. A hole in the earth over two miles in diameter. Here we are at the old gas station. It survived a lot of the impact. We might be safe here. Oh my god! What? It's a cannibal! Stay back, cannibal! You think HIV is something to be laughed at, Kyle? Well, let's just see how funny it is now, asshole. All right, I guess we should taste each other's chili, huh? Yeah, this chili looks pretty good. Here's mine. Mmm. I don't know. Your chili is good, Cartman, but I think mine is better. Try it. All right. Hey, this is great. It's a special recipe. Ah, this is really good, Scott. I'm glad you like it so much, because now that you're almost finished, I have something to tell you. What? You mean about how you put pubes in your chili? What? Yes, I'm afraid this isn't your chili, Scott. I switched it with chefs. It's delicious, chef. I hadn't planned on that. What I did plan on, however, was that my friend Stan and Kyle would betray me and warn you that the Chili Con Carnival was a trap. I assumed that they would tell you that I had trained Dinkins' pony to bite off your wiener. What they didn't tell you was that Dinkins is a crazy redneck who shoots trespassers on sight. Knowing that you would go and try to do something to the pony, I warned Mr. Dinkins that violent pony killers were in the area. I also knew that you wouldn't go yourself for fear of having your wiener bitten off. You would most likely send your parents. And I'm afraid that when Mr. Dinkins spotted them on his property, he shot and killed both your parents. Well, they was trespassing and I was protecting myself. I, I have my rights. My mom and dad are dead? I came just in time to see Mr. Dinkins giving his report to Officer Barbrady. And, of course, to steal the bodies. After a night with the hacksaw, I was all ready to put on my chili gun carnival so that I could tell you personally about your parents' demise. And, of course, feed you your chili. Do you like it? Do you like it, Scott? I call it Mr. and Mrs. Tenerman chili. When Kyle said that humans weren't the only species that could have light skin and freckles, I totally laughed in his face. But it turns out Kyle was right. There are other animals that can be ginger as well. I didn't believe it. I guess I didn't want to believe it. But this morning I saw a red-haired, light-skinned cow, and I owe you, Kyle, and you, Davin, my sincerest apologies. Where did you find a red-haired cow? Oh, would you, would you guys like to see it? There, there it is right there, see? A red-headed cow. Whoa, look at it. You were right, Kyle. A ginger cow. I shall never question your keen intellect again. Wow, that's pretty trippy. Yeah, yeah, be sure to get some pictures of it. I'm pretty sure this occurs only rarely in nature. <laughs> All right, Cartman, joke's over. What, what joke? This is real. Tell everyone you made the cow look like that. No, no, you were right, Kyle. I was wrong. Bully, Eric. I sure do admire your courage to admit when you've made a mistake. Thank you, Butters. <laughs> Okay, how did everyone do in their fractions? Are there any questions? I know the last few were a little tricky. Mrs. Nelson, I couldn't figure out number 14. Number 14? Okay, well, let's look at it together. <laughs> what? What? What is, what is this? Oh my God, teacher had her period! Kids, something must be wrong with me. I'll be... Is this a prank? That nasty teacher, don't have your period during class time! You guys, I think that might have been the single most hilarious thing we've ever done.